Do you want to replace your roof console? Do you want to put a larger one in? In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove it and I'll show you how to put it back in as well if you don't want to replace it altogether. Remember to give this video a like if you think it's worth it. Subscribe to my channel so that way you can see my other great videos that are going to come up in the future. And hit that bell notification so that way you can see when my new videos come out. Let's get into it. So what you want to do, you start by removing the plastic housing. Click on the card at the top if you want to see how I remove this. Next you want to remove this housing here that holds the lights and the security sensors. So I'm going to go ahead and what you do is you bend in this clip here. Not this back piece, but there's a piece at the front that you'll see when you look at yours. And this whole thing will swing down because there's two clips on the back that anchor it and it pivots up and goes in. So I'm going to remove this now. That there is the spring clip that I'm talking about. So you just need to push that in from the backside just to release it. There's three electrical connectors. I'm now going to go ahead and disconnect them. Now that's this unit removed. The next step is to remove the two screws that are holding the console to the roof. There's one on the left and there's one on the right. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those now. To remove these screws I'm using the T20 Torx bit and just a ratchet screwdriver. They come out relatively easy. Once you remove the Torx head screws, there's a total of six clips that you need to remove. They just bend back and you should be able to put a downward, bit of downwards force on the roof console to get it to remove. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six. So now I'm going to go ahead and try and bring them down. So I'm just going to pull it back. There's that one dropped. Next one. There's those two dropped. This is a bit of a fiddly job, so just be mindful of that. And as you can see, it drops out relatively easy once you do it. That's just come away, but that's because I've undone it before. There's a metal frame that sits in the roof, so that way it clips under that rather than your headlining. Those clips I was talking about was one, two, three, four, five, six, and it anchors in the back on one and two. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put it back up. So now I'm going to put it back up. I just run the cables through the loom, uh, through the hole. These plastic clips slip over the metal bracket. I slowly pull it back up. Make sure the side clips are clipped in. And that's it back up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the torque screws back in. Once the torque screw is back in, there's a single connector, which I'm going to connect up. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect up the other three connectors. That's those three connectors back in. Now with these two anchor pieces, I'm going to slide them up first and then push it back up. With that now back into place, I'm going to put the lens back on. This is quite a fiddly job, so just be prepared to get a little bit frustrated by it. I've probably made it look a little bit easy, but I've done it before. So the first time I did it, it was a bit of a struggle. You'll get used to it. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you think it's a good video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see other great videos like this in the future. And hit that bell notification so that way you get notifications when I uh, upload a new video. 
share this with other groups so that way other people can see it. Thanks for watching.